We're joined again by Sharon Kelder House, a lifestylist. We're talking about clutter. Just a few minutes ago, you had great <laughs> advice on how to get rid of stuff, whether oh. it was clothing or paper. Now, though, if we can, I'd love to talk about what do you do with what you have left. So we'll start, we'll go down the line again, clothing. One thing that I did, not, it may have been a waste of money, I don't know, but I got all the same hangers. I was so tired of having an assortment of different hangers, some from college, right. some from my yeah. 20s. Right. Some of them are yeah. cracked or they're bent. It's like, uh-uh. Right. No. So hangers, you should definitely buy the ones that have that soft material. Really? I don't know what it's called, Loves but it. that way, nothing, especially for women, yeah, because camisoles. yeah, nothing falls off. You know, the other ones are slippery, Blouses. things yeah. slide off. You know, you might iron a shirt, you go put it on, all of a sudden it's on the and floor pretty, again. Because and they're pretty sturdy, too. They're very sturdy, yeah. And always have them all, make sure they're facing the right way. Yes. Oh, ooh. Because there's nothing, you know, when you're trying yeah. to get it out and the yeah. thing's going backwards and, yeah, it's well, crazy. Well, driving nuts so, off. Yeah, so that's really nice. And you can even color coordinate if you want to go all out with your clothes, mm -hmm. you know. That's not and, a bad idea. Yeah, or even put them by outfits. Whatever works for you. I'll take care. Yeah. I'll, I'll help you with that. I like that. <laughs> uh, you know what else? I, I roll my shirts now and it creates a lot more room. Definitely. That's a great thing for packing. Too, you should if you're going on yeah. trip. I do to that roll for everything. Yeah, when yeah. I when I travel and yes. I have a suitcase, I yeah. roll my clothes. My sister taught me that, yes. and I do that now. But you do that with your clothes just on a regular. Yeah, why not? Yeah, okay. creates all and it's room. good if you roll them in the drawer, like you're saying, because then you can see all of them. Instead yeah. of having a stack and you're trying to see what's down below in your e drawer. Exactly. We have a very tiny house, so it forced me to be like this. So when it came to paper, um, what do you recommend? I mean, there's the binders, there's the files. How do you organize what you do have to keep? It kind of depends on how much you have left, which should not be a lot. Mm -hmm. um, really, if you want to use a file drawer, you know, you even, if they even have portable ones that you can just hide away, you know, mm -hmm. tuck in a corner, behind a chair, whatever, that you can just keep your, you know, most important items that you have left. And then if you have something that you want to keep on top of your desk that's like the go-to stuff, you know, a, a file for things you have to respond to. I did that. I have a folder now that says bills on it. Now you might say, wait a minute, why do you have that? Because anything in that folder that's not been paid is still in there. Mm -hmm. And if I see something in there, I know I haven't paid a bill. Right. right. And that has helped me visually cue me, because I need visual cues. Right. To say, oh, because I mean, I'm serious. Any bill that comes in yeah. the house, I throw it right in that folder. Yeah. And then I keep it on my desk of all the most used file folders that I would use. Right. So for yeah. me, that's bills, medical receipts. Right. I want to see those all the time. Great stuff. Yeah. Yes. And, and one last thing with storage of mementos we talked about. One thing that has helped me, and I don't know if you have anything better. I'm sure you do. But I, I get clear bins instead of just boxes so I can see what's in them. That's you, exactly what I was yeah. going to say. Yes. And then you put a label on them, too, uh, you know, yeah. which is nice. You can print up a label on the computer. They have little sticky envelope, clear envelopes you can buy at Staples mm. that stick on the front of the container. And you just stick in there. You can even put for your decorations or whatever. You can actually just type out what's in there exactly. Mm. And you don't have to go rummaging through to find stuff, one thing. Yeah that you're looking for at the bottom of the bin. I'm so, yeah, yeah. that yeah. is really smart. I like yeah, that, the brilliant. sticky folder, or the sticky <laughs> these, envelope. Yes. See through things. These okay. small things can change your life. It really does, it really does. I started cleaning out, I lost 12 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> it does amazing things, yeah. Hopefully by cleaning you don't lose anything else, that's the goal, but there lose we go. Away, not your stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sharon, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sharon. Sharon. Gra you got me hooked on that, little clear, on the clear boxes now. I, I, know. Yes, I they gotta work have great. And they keep things safe. You know, water can't get into them like boxes and things. Yeah. So I gotta have it.